The HIV epidemic in Indonesia is among the fastest growing in Asia. According to the National AIDS Commission of Indonesia, in 2009, there were more than 330,000 adults living with HIV. And by 2014, the number is expected to grow to almost half a million. Here in West Java province, the city of Bandung has the highest transmission rate. Bandung adalah nomor satu, tetap nomor satu untuk ukuran kota. Kita masih merasa bahwa kasus yang terjadi sekarang masih uh, belum menunjukkan uh, hasil yang sebenarnya, angka yang sebenarnya dari kasus HIV yang ada di Bandung. According to health workers, there's also been a rise in HIV cases among those once considered low at risk. Eight years ago, Suri Wahyuni discovered that she was HIV positive. She had contracted the virus from her husband. Mula-mula ya galau, ya apa risau tentang masyarakat, tentang kita, kehidupan kita macam mana ke depan, kita tidak tahu apa yang harus kita kerjakan. In response to the ongoing epidemic, the Indonesian government introduced two programs for HIV detection. Sekarang saya harus tanya nih, Teteh, kapan terakhir kali berhubungan seks yang tidak pakai kondom dengan siapapun? Kemarin. One is known as voluntary counseling and testing (VCT), in which the client takes the initiative to have his or her status checked. And the other is Provider-Initiated Testing and Counseling, PITC, in which a physician initiates counseling and then administers a test on those suspected of carrying the virus. But with limited funding for HIV programs, the government has had to choose which to focus. With the support of Global Development Network, researcher Adyatma Siregar from the Center for Economics and Development Studies conducted a research to measure the cost-effectiveness of the two programs. The center is part of Pajajaran University. Health expenditure in Indonesia is uh, relatively low in the first place, and we can imagine the HIV expenditure is uh, even lower as well. So, because we have such limited money, so I think it is quite important to do an economic evaluation for any intervention in HIV, actually. So we know that we spend the money on the correct intervention. The study found that the unit cost of service utilization per HIV-positive cases detected is higher for provider-initiated testing and counseling than voluntary counseling and testing. What also emerged from the study is that the voluntary program seems to result in a time gain of two to three years, allowing more time for treatment and care of detected patients. This makes voluntary counseling and testing more cost effective. This finding is crucial in helping policymakers on the national and district level to shape decisions, says Dr. Denny K. Sunjaya, former health ministry employee turned academician. In this decentralization uh, situation, yeah, we need uh, some group who product research. We need all of the product of ADI, uh, CEDS research, to uh, Oh, convince the people in government or local parliament that it is very important. But not everyone agrees that the government should allocate more resources to voluntary counseling and testing. Suri Wahyuni, who is a recipient of the voluntary program, says that the government should spend more money on provider-initiated testing and counseling instead. PCT test saja, test saja untuk kita mengetahui bahwa kita terkena dampak. Kalau uh, yang satunya PITC orang yang sudah terdampak sakit. Yang lebih utama adalah orang yang sakit dulu. Researcher Adyatma says it's not as simple as more funds are required to scale up provider initiated testing and counseling. We need to keep doing what we're doing right now. The VCT is backing up by PITC, both of them working together. For those who are utilizing either program, the counseling sessions have helped them make better decisions in life. Saya melihat orang-orang yang banyak ya kan, yang seperti saya, saya prihatin, gitu. Maka dari itu bangkit usaha untuk biar semangat, biar hidup dari konselor itu. Kadang dia terlalu percaya diri. 
kadang dia terlalu percaya diri tapi uh, saya pikir uh, itu poin yang bagus dia sekarang lebih lebih optimis saya bilang kalau misalkan putus asa kamu salah saya bilang kamu banyak yang orang lain lebih buruk daripada kita tapi dia tetap bisa semangat hidup tetap hidup jangan menyerah